battery seems to run dead. Joel thought it would have like 72 minutes. They gave me five minutes and then I can't take, take that risk. Nah, not on purpose. <laughs> Shitting implies that he did it on purpose. Yeah, but if I don't give Joel a hard time, then that's not really cool. So uh, I did want to know, let you know that we do have a contractor right now that's already doing this work and they're doing pretty well. Um, have you talked to any other companies about which holidays matter the most? Plenty of companies and I think we personally believe that not one holiday is more important. All of them are shared equally. Just like the houses we make, a lot of people undercut you know, modular homes and I believe and our company believes that we should move forward and make this contract with you. We're going to be presenting on a whole bunch of holidays that we think are super important, but none of them one more than the other. So the first one we're going to talk about is Boxing Day, which contrary to popular belief wasn't named after the sport. It was actually named after the tradition began in the UK where household employers would give their servants a boxed gift as well as the day off, the day after Christmas, on December 26th. And it was founded on spending time with their family, and it's now become a major shopping day in Canada, in which most people spend time with their family after the holidays. So Canada Day. Canada Day represents the creation of Canada on July 1st, 1867, by the joining Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Ontario, and Quebec into one uh, province. Uh, fun fact, in Quebec, this is also known as Moving Day, as most people's leases start July 1st. And then we have Discovery Day, which is the third Wednesday in August for the Yukon, and it celebrates the first discovery of gold in the Klondike Mountains, which uh, started the uh, Klondike Gold Rush. However, in Newfoundland and Labrador, it can also be celebrated as Discovery Day for John Coop's discovery of the um, those provinces in uh, 1497. So Civic Day is also called the August holiday and it's celebrated on the first Monday in August. And while this isn't a holiday celebrated everywhere, most provinces or municipalities do take the day off to spend with their family and celebrate their uh, local culture, their community culture, in ways like having community barbecues or having parades and fireworks. Then we have May 24 weekend, which is the long weekend that leads up to Victoria Day, which celebrates the birthday of Queen Victoria of Great Britain. And it is a holiday, it's actually colloquially named after um, the term for a 24 case of beer, a lot of which will be consumed that weekend. And it's a time for both remembering history, but also living in the present and enjoying the people around you. National Aboriginal Day is a very important day for us, as well as you, Mr. Seamus, as uh, the Minister of Indigenous Affairs for Canada. It's just to uh, admire the relations between the First Nation, the Métis people, and the Inuit people. Uh, Remembrance Day, also known as Poppy Day, uh, was established in 1918 to mark the end of the World War I. It remembers the fallen soldiers of World War I and is celebrated by everyone wearing uh, poppy flower on their shirt. Um, St. John the Baptist Day is a public holiday and um, it is celebrated because St. John the Baptist was known to uh, baptize Jesus in the River of Jordan and it's celebrated with festivals, parades, and is known as a feast day. And that's it. <laughs>